Very good afternoon, my friends. How are you? Hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new live trading video from Extreme Trader. This is Salah speaking. So as you can see, my friends, I have already opened this trade right here on the AUD NZD on the one hour time frame. And once I opened it, I thought, why don't I reopen my recorder and start recording a new video for the live trades? However, um, for the new followers and new and the new subscribers to my channel, I want to say first of all, welcome on my channel. And I wanted to show you which video, my friends, you have to watch first before you proceed with this video. So just give me a second. Hold on. So here's my channel on YouTube. And if you scroll down a little bit, you can find this video right here, my friends. Uh, it's called the best forex scalping strategy explained in details. Please proceed to watch that video first. It's going to actually enlighten you more about which strategy I'm using in this video. So most likely you will not get understood. So otherwise, if you don't watch it, you won't get under you won't actually understand what, what I'm saying in this video. So I really advise you guys to watch that video first before proceeding with this one. So anyway, I have opened the trade already and I have to explain to you the reason behind this trade right here. So as you can see, um, first of all, we can notice that right here on the one hour time frame, AUD, AUD NZD is moving in a bearish momentum. So it's a downtrend. And right now, what we can see right here, that the pair has faced this these two major bullish and bearish breakouts. So let me explain to you. What happened is right here, we had a resistance level. It was a key resistance on um, 1.0586. And again, we had another resistance so we have we already have two attempts of the resistance and again we had another fake breakout which didn't count at all then we had right here the bullish breakout from that level of the resistance now notice something that we had only one single attempt of a support on the same level of the resistance let me delete the lines so look at that we got we have here one two and you can say three attempts of the resistance and then once the resistance has been broken out from with this bullish breakout candle we notice right here that the market has created one single attempt of a support there was no single no there was no second attempt and the market has immediately made a bearish breakout from that level of the same support and right now that resistance level is gonna keep its position again as a resistance as simple as that this is my strate strategy um we are looking for the breakouts and of course we are looking for the strong level of the support and resistance and of course we place the trade accordingly based on the levels now uh, if you notice, my friends, I have placed my take profit level to be exactly right here. Why? Because simply we have right here the new resistance has been created, right? Because this resistance right here is being respected again. So this level of the resistance is going to keep its position again as a resistance. Meaning this is a new resistance. So this is a resistance number one, which is going to continue the fall all the way at least to hit the nearest support or resistance to my entry. That is my strategy. And therefore, if we look at the nearest support or resistance, it's exactly right here. Which means I'm looking for about um, 13 pips only equivalent to $91, which is going to provide me hopefully uh, from this trade. As you can see, my friends, I'm just trading based on a plan. I just don't, I don't like to place my targets to be like this huge. I mean, some, I find it silly to be honest with you that some traders that are actually making their stop loss just like that so narrow like that and the take profit is huge i mean what are you doing i mean eventually you're gonna fail you get you gonna actually lose your money this way because they are getting some they are getting sometimes really greedy and they might see the markets go down all the way very close to their take profit level and they are already already in a very good profit then the market might reverse is making a pullback it's okay i'm still holding my position and again the market hit the, hit here the resistance and he think okay it's getting closer to my target and again it's gonna reverse based, based on that support level and flies all the way up hit the stop loss and then maybe fall down how do you feel about it? I mean, how will you feel really if this happens? I mean, for me, I don't know how I would feel. I, I don't like this feeling at all. So therefore, I just like always to, to, to be safe and just trade uh, wisely. I always have a proper, uh, always have a proper plan, always have a um, fund ma uh, management plan. Make sure that you are trading. When you are trading, you are actually investing. So for example, I have invested right here $90 in this trade. $93. So I won't make or lose more than 
dollars. That's my plan. So I'm investing ninety three dollars only. You know, you know what I mean. So for me, I prefer the one to one win uh, risk to reward ratio. That's that's my uh, preferences. Anyway, uh, I think we can find another trade if I'm not mistaken. I think um, I have seen something right here before. I think Euro NZD maybe. Uh, no, maybe Euro AUD. Uh, I, I actually saw it before opening. The, okay, maybe Euro Euro AUD. No, Euro Pound. Um, I'm sure I saw it somewhere. Um, can't remember which pair was it. It was a very good uh, setup that as, as that's actually approaching. Um, I'm trying to find anything good that we can actually. Uh, yeah, I think this is the one. Okay, yeah, this is the one. It was the pound GPY. So pound GPY, my friends, is approaching a very good level to start shorting. As we can see right here, we had right here a long week at uh, the resistance. And uh, as I'm telling you always, um, if you want to find the strong level of levels of support and resistance, always look for the long weeks or long tails of on a support. And right here, we can notice that the, the highest level of this week right here, the peak of this week, look at what happened later on. It has become a support levels the same level of the week right here so which means right now after this bearish breakout we can expect from this resistance to keep its position again as a resistance as well so i can make a big score if i place my trade right here and exit right here at the nearest resistance to my entity which is going to be exactly right here which means i can be aiming 42 pips of profit that's going to be awesome but we have to wait for this setup for, uh, to approach to be approached to so it's going to take a while meanwhile i'm actually looking right here what's happening um aud and zd let me just go back to the four hour time frame aud and zd still not reversing at this level so we can give it some time i believe it's gonna reverse eventually i think it's just creating the week right here eventually it's gonna fall down and uh, be reversed um if we switch to the 15 minute time frame it's still there one minute and 43 seconds for the closure time so until then let me know please pause the recording and i'll be back to you later to show you what will, what will gonna happen with this trade and once we open another one all right um pound chf pound chf is approaching actually have already reached a very good level to start shorting i need to place the short immediately immediately perfect that was a perfect perfect entry of course we can be in loss for a while it's okay of course this is very normal uh the market won't be immediately in profit of course guys as you know and look at that um yet the pound chf already going in profit allow me to explain to you the reason behind this entry i think it's very simple for those who are following me for a long time um i am right now on the four hour time frame on the pound chf and right here we can see that there was a small resistance attempt but still it was a resistance remember i'm on the four hour time frame if i was on the 15 or five minute time frame this won't really be counted but however on the four hour time frame it actually counts now look what happened later the same level of the previous resistance has become a support level and of course that support has been breaking out but has been being has been breaking out from with this strong bearish breakout candle now what happens is that the market is actually retesting the level and revisiting the same level of a resistance and right now hopefully that resistance is going to be respected again and it's going to keep its position again as a resistance now of course let me just tell you something right here if you look carefully this is the bearish breakout candle from the support now pay attention i placed my trade right here exactly at the lowest level of the tail which was the nearest one to the bearish breakout candle. This is exactly where we can expect from the market to fall to or to reverse. Let me just draw it for you. For example, we are having right here a bearish breakout, breakout, uh, breakout candle. And just before this candle on the four hour time frame or even one hour time frame, we are having right here a small candle with a tail. Now, once you see the market approaching the level, now you know that you should place your trade somewhere at that support level but however, you're not sure where. My answer for you is look for the nearest tail to the breakout candle. Then draw your line, your resist, your previous support line exactly matching up with the with the lowest tail of the breakout candle. Oh, sorry, of the, of the um, 
yeah, ma- draw your line in a way is that th- that is actually matched up with the lowest level of the tail, which is the nearest one to the bearish breakout candle. And then w- once you see the candle actually approaching the same level of that line, place your trade of sell and just hope for the best. Of course, in Forex, there is nothing secured. There is no such thing as one plus one equals two. Th- that doesn't exist in Forex. We are just analyzing and we are just uh, making these rules and hoping for the best. From my own experience, I can tell that this is exactly the level where the market actually should be reversed. Look at that. Now the candle is exactly on the bl- on the red line and I believe it's going to reverse immediately. So far, it's going in loss. Um, of course, this is normal, my friends. Anyway, uh, well, let me just set the stop loss, the stop, stop, the stop loss and take profit levels just to be sure. So, of course, since I have placed my trade right here on that resistance, um, I should exit my trade at the nearest support or resistance, right? Now, the nearest support or resistance to my entry is this resistance right here. This is the nearest one, which means this should be actually my take profit level just like that which means i'm aiming 22 pips equivalent to 250 dollars it's gonna be awesome and hopefully we'll make it let me just make sure as i place the same as my stop loss um it's not appearing yeah exactly like that and let me just make sure again um i'm checking keeping my eyes on the aud and zd which has not reversed yet look at that we had right here a pin bar which a good sign on the one hour time frame so most likely the pair is going to start reversing right now. Uh, let me just uh, switch to the 30 minute time frame and still the pair is re- ranging on the level of this resistance zone. So it's normal, of course, just give it some time. Don't rush it. Hopefully everything is going to be OK and it's going to be a profit. But let me just tell you that we can expect from the pair to reverse exactly right here at 1.05953. I think this candle is going to continue the rise until it hit again the same level of that resistance that's gonna be literally the last defense line for this trade before it's gonna be closed in loss because there is no other resistance on the zone right here the nearest one is right here which is above the uh, stop loss line so therefore i believe it's gonna continue the rise yes yes look at it look at it it's rising it's rising and it's expected and that's gonna be actually the best level to start shorting the pair let me see how many pips is that just five pips hmm i'm thinking if i should open another trade just to prove my point but again that's my money <laughs> i'm i don't like gambling i just trust my ability i trust my knowledge and i'm certainly sure that it's gonna be fine to open another trade i'm just right now actually scratching my beard and thinking i'm thinking about it if i should do it or not let's see if I'm going to open the trade, I will let you know. I think, yes, guys, I will I will open the trade. I think the line is right here. But I think, again, it's going to be at the peak of this res- resistance right here. But however, uh, l- there are some other ways that we can confirm. I, I don't want to make this video so boring. So let me just now pause the recording and I will let you know, guys, if I opened another trade. So just wanted to let you know, guys, just wanted to let you know, guys, I have opened another trade but with a smaller uh, lot size 0.50 only and i'm going to place exactly the same amount of take profit and um, stop loss which is going to be this time 64 dollars of profit and i think not much of a stop loss i think um, no less than that i think wait a second let me just see it's 23 dollars only which is totally fine so I have already confirmed that this seems like a very good setup for uh, the sell because right here we can see that we had a resistance trend line which has been respected several times. So therefore, we can expect from the market to fall right at that level. However, nothing secured in Forex as I, as I said before. So we're just hoping for the best. Let's see how these trades will go. So anyway, um, yeah, I believe that's it. Let me now please pause the recording and I'll be back to you later to show you what will going to happen with these two trades and as i told you my friends the pair is just rise um the um uh the sorry uh, yeah it was pound chf sorry i thought it was some other pair yeah the pound chf has actually fallen all the way 
all the way as you can see it's very close to the take profit right now 150 50 dollars i'm gonna take it i'm gonna take it i'm happy with this profit it's a good profit and i like it i don't really have to wait for the pair to reach uh the take profit level uh, exactly um i'm a person who have learned that this is the best way to survive in forex business just don't ever be greedy if if i was hungry for these extra three or four pips i actually might lose this trade and look at that now it's maybe it's reversing right now so better just be safe again i'm telling you my friends if you want to survive in this business always play it safe now we have we have only the aud and zd remaining so i think it's going well so far let me now please again pause the recording and i'll be back to you later to show you what will gonna happen with the aud and zd and if in case we uh, fail it i'm gonna open another trade and recover any potential losses so let me now please pause the recording and i'll be back to you shortly all right so let me show you what's going on so far um sadly um aud and zd is not going well at all uh it's approaching the stop loss but however thankfully we are prepared for any um stop losses to be hidden and i have a proper money management that i'm actually investing a part of the profits that i have made from the previous trade however right now we can see the aud and zd is going in total of 10 plus uh, four 14 pips of loss um i will not i will not close it at all i will just wait wait for it to hit the stop loss and as we can see right here this is again another uh, defense plan so i'm telling you guys always when you are seeing the trade going in loss always keep analyzing it make sure that where exactly you can expect from the pair to reverse where exactly is the strongest the, the next strong uh, resistance level as we can see i have uh raised this line right here to hit the or to reach actually the peak of this resistance at 1.0 uh, 1.05979 which is actually my last option if the pair ever going to continue the rise then that's it we have bad luck with the aud and zd let it go and just move on to the next trade so i actually have opened another trade right here for the euro aud uh it's a potential uh, trade uh, that actually has a, a good potential actually to be, to be a profitable one but however uh it seems like so far um it's ranging uh so far it's going in profit of 13 dollars now <clears throat> I just need to mark for you the take profit and stop losses so of course since i have placed my trade right here which i am going to explain to you later um i need to select my take profit level and of course i need to select the nearest support or resistance to my entry now of course it's very simple and very uh basic hit and run uh simply we can see here my friends on the one hour time frame a resistance attempt which has been breaking out from by this bullish breakout candle and again we can see that the market has created right here a support number one this was the first attempt of the support and right now the market is on the second attempt of the support and that was the simple reason i placed my buy order not to mention of course that the market is moving in a very strong uh, bullish trend and right now on the four hour time frame we can see it very clear that here we had a strong key resistance level that resistance level cannot simply be ignored and therefore we can expect from the market to continue the rise at least to hit this previous resistance right here, at least which means i'm aiming um, approximately 28 pips equivalent to 208 dollars is gonna actually cover any potential losses from the aud and zd and make me actually uh, in a good profit so um since i have placed my trade right here and sorry i placed my take profit right here at the nearest uh, resistance um it's actually uh 23 pips so let me just make sure i place the same as of my stop loss almost the same just to be sure everything is going well so therefore we are having right now three trades um two of them are on the same pair but however i actually f start to feel good about the aud and zd i feel maybe it will actually fall uh let me tell you if it's fall if it falls again to the to the first entry then i'm going to close it with a break even and profit then i will make profit from the from the second trade and break even from the first one that's absolutely fine and we can do that there is nothing wrong with that let me just make sure i place uh, my my take profit accordingly anyway i'm going to adjust them later so anyway um that's it let me now please uh, again pause the recording and i'll be back to you later oh yeah by the way i forgot to mention something um it's about the gold signal the gold signal guys is not going well and i just really wanted to apologize for anyone who have lost money on this signal but i mentioned my friends on the midweek analysis that you cannot expect from the gold to exceed this level easily 
I told you that the gold is going to be ranging inside this zone right here for a long time since we're having here very strong resistance level and it has actually, it has actually become a support, especially that the gold right now is ranging um, on the zone of 1800. So I'm telling you, my friends, the gold is going to take some time before it finally break out from um, this level, either a bullish or a bearish. We are not sure yet, but however, again, I would just wanted to apologize for anyone who have um, entered the signal and lost money because of my advice. But again, I'm telling you, uh, the gold is ranging there. It's not my fault. I already warned you that the gold will be ranging. So anyway, um, let me just check the other trades. Everything is going well. Let me check the 15 minute time frame for the Euro AUD. Everything is going well so far. Now, allow me please to pause the recording and I'll be back to you later to show you what will going to happen with these two trades. Guys, check this out. So far, we are covering really a lot of uh, losses. So far, I'm in total of $65 of profit. And let me just show you this. Yes, $17, 70 pips. Um, sorry, maybe you, you, you've heard my voice right now um, opened uh, multiple times. Uh, it was because of uh, some uh, monitoring software I was using. Just I was monitoring my screen while I was away from the screen. I, and I was just um, monitoring the trades. Anyway, I don't want to go in long story. Anyway, sorry for any inconvenience uh, if, you have, if you heard any um, other voices. Anyway, so far this trade is going in 100, $115 of profit equivalent to 15 pips of profit. I think I'm going to close this trade right now and I think I will close all of them. Um, I'm in total of profit <clears throat> and I think I have to accept the, the fact that I, we have lost money on the AUD NZD. I think this is part of Forex. So in total we have earned $65, which is fine by the way. And I think if we let the, tra if we let the trade running, it's going to get for me um, extra $50. It's not really worth it uh, to risk uh, because I think uh, the trade might actually or the market might fall right now or reverse. Um, I think I will just accept it. Let me just close all of this, uh, these trades and just accept. And we have made right now um, nearly two, nearly $200. I think that's really good in this uh, short session. Um, sorry, guys. I know 22 minutes for this live trading session and I just earned $200. I mean, for me, that's really fine. But for you, maybe it was a long video. But I really hope that you guys have learned something about trading Forex. And you guys have learned that we can actually make this uh, good uh, income or this good, these good profits just by finding the reversals. Always aim for the reversals and just wait for the right moment. If you cannot find it, then just don't trade. As you can see right now, it's actually 3.28 p.m. Dubai time. I could have entered many trades actually in the morning, but they were not really that trusted. I just entered the trusted setups right front of you. Now the account is, I think we are ne nearly to uh, $200 of profit, which is really fine. I'm going to open the next trade later. Um, I think we can find another trade, but I'm not going to open it right now. I'm going to wait for it. I believe I will wait for the pound CHF to reach this level of a support. So I can place another buy order, but until then, it's going to take 23 pips. So anyway, until then, I believe this was informative to you. And I think you guys have learned a lot of uh, how we can actually um, make money from scalping. So until then, I hope that was informative to you. And I would like to thank you for watching.